Hey, hey, and welcome to the next video of our learning Java 2D game programming. In the last video, we made a camera class, which is an abstraction that will um, that will render through and it enables us to center on an object. So in this case, our player. So it follows our player around and keeps our player in the center. However, I do not very much like these red lines going on. So in today's video, we are going to change the sprite loader a little bit, and then we're just gonna make a quick sprite to fill our tiles with so it doesn't look quite this boring. Um, we're not gonna do anything advanced though. We'll leave the graphics for later, but just something. So let's get to it. Um, start with making a place where you can keep your tiles. So if you haven't made a tile folder, which I guess you haven't, but I have since I've tried it out, uh, open your resources, sprites, new directory, name it tiles. So that's where we're gonna put them later. All right, let's go to our sprite library. And here it is. So one thing that I'm gonna change and I don't know why I did this to start with. Maybe I thought, I don't know what I thought, but I've changed my mind, so I don't want this. Let's just cut this and save it though. And then delete that. So what I'm thinking now that we have these methods, we can just send in the path to the resource uh, inside as an argument. So we can also do that for the tiles. And now this has to take in a path. So let's just fix this first. Just replace path to units with the path that we sent in. And right now, if we play, it should work just like before. And it does, great. All right, so in here, we need to load in our tiles. So let's get rid of that. Now we wanna get use get sheets in folder, but I no longer like that it's called sheets. So um, with the mark on, press shift and F6 to rename it. I'm just gonna say get images in folder because that's, that's really more what we're doing. All right, but after that, we already know the folder that we're in. We don't have any subfolders. We don't need to get the folders like we do here but however, we need to borrow this code with some changes. So first we wanna know the, and shift F6, images in folder. So first we get images in the folder path. So now it's gonna look inside tiles and the this array is gonna be the um, file name of uh, everything inside of the tiles folder. So for every, let's just call it file name. For every file name in images in, in folder, we don't wanna add sheet. However, we want tiles and we wanna put. So this will be the same, file name substring. We just cut off the file type, like .png, we just cut that away. And then we need to load the image. So get the path and then the file name. So this should be it. When we run this, it will load whatever's inside of this folder into tiles right here. And we can use it just like we already did. However, now we need a tile. So get your favorite photo editing software and I'm gonna use GNU, GNU, I don't know. Um, that's what I'll use. It's for free. You can Google it. Um, Paint should do as well, or any really, any software. So make sure that it's 64 by 64 pixels because that's what we've decided that our tile size will be. Hit OK. All right, so control scrolling will zoom in. Maybe not that much. All right, so now we wanna fill this with something and I'm just gonna make a quick, I'm just gonna make a wood floor. 
because it's simple and I haven't really decided what setting our game is going to be yet, but a wood floor is always usable, right? So just get a brown color, maybe, and find your paint bucket, which almost all photo editing software has, fill it in, get your pen, and it's important that it's the pen and not the brush, yes. Um, sorry, everything's in Swedish here, so I don't know what the English words are, but the pen, not the brush. Uh, the brush uh, does smooth things and we don't want smooth. So getting the pen, I've set my size here to 16. Um, exactly what that means, I'm not sure, because obviously this is really long, but any any size will do. As long as you can paint it with a square, which I guess you can. So we're gonna have it, I think this is five pixels um, tall. Get a pencil. So I'm just gonna tell you the difference. If I paint here, see, it's hard, it's jagged, and that's sort of what we're going for right now. If we use the pencil, it is soft, it is doing weird things, we don't want that. All right, so however, what we do want is Let's just steal the same color once more. So here's the color pipette. Get that color. Now we have the same color in the foreground background. Um, get a slightly lighter color. Actually, no, sorry, Bob. Let's just use this. We have this intensity thing. Let's just use it. And make sure that it's really subtle because otherwise it's gonna hurt your eyes. So, oh, well, maybe that was Maybe, maybe that was a little too subtle. If you press shift when you're using this um, software, first you click somewhere, then you click shift, and it will draw a line for you. So if you, I would click here, it would draw up to there. But we can use it to make perfect um, lines, I guess. So switch the color here and grab one that's slightly darker. Oh, that's not even slightly, is it? That's quite a lot darker. No, just really slightly. So what happens if you don't do it really slightly is that once you load it in, and even this might be too much, but in that case, I'll show you how to fix it. So just make some something that would pass as boards. Um, yeah, sure. Something that would pass as boards. Just something. And you need to make sure that it won't look weird once, because these are going to be, this is going to be duplicated for every tile. So um, it will look really repetitive, but that's fine. Um, it's going to help if we don't go overboard with the colors. All right, maybe something like this, I don't know. Like that. Let's try it, we can iterate. So let's export as, and then find your folder. So here's my game, and go to resources, go to sprites, go to tiles, and give this a name. I'm gonna call it wood floor. Export, stuff, export. All right, so what we need to do now, if we go into our code, we need to find the tile. Tile, 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 it's inside a map, tile. All right, so now it's looking for default. We no longer have default, we named it wood floor. So let's change that to wood floor and let's check it out. All right, so it's looking really repetitive. Uh, this is probably not what we want. Let's see if we can make a quick, like no matter what we do about this, it is gonna look, it's de definitely going to look very repetitive. Um, there's just no fixing that um, because it is repetitive, but at least we can get rid of the things that are the clearest right and one thing that adds to the to the repetitiveness is that this brown is a bit too dark 
So even though we tried making it very, very similar, it still ended up being a bit too dark. But this is probably not dark enough. See, this is really hard. Super duper hard. So that's 29. Let's go to 27 and see what that looks like. And that looks almost like before. Is it really that little of a difference? So 28. I guess let's go with 28. Let's see how the paint bucket tool... Can we see? Yeah, just pull down the threshold really low. That way it won't try to find something that looks close to and then fill that out. If um, the threshold is too high, then maybe it said, oh, but this is brown, but this is also brown. Let's fill that as well. So that's not what we want. Um, all right, oh, sorry, that was the wrong file. <laughs> all right, so export as the wood floor, export, and let's check it again. Uh, I don't like that this is coming three times. That is, nay, we don't like it. And where is that? That's here. It's doing it three times. So I realized that we probably already fixed that once. All right, so let's not, let's grab the color picker. Um, let's grab the paint. Sorry, that would take away everything, of course. Let's just paint over it instead with the brush. Okay, so now that's gone, but I'm sure that this would look weird. So let's grab the color pipette again, grab our color. Let's try to do something down here maybe, like so. I wonder if that looks better or if it still looks really weird. Export, yes, replace and export and try it out. All right, this is in no way perfect, but this was just so that we'd have something else to look at instead of that black background with red lines, which was a little bit sad. Um, yeah, now we can focus on something more fun. I'm not sure what that is yet, but maybe we'll bring an NPC into the world. Some sort of computer player. Maybe we'll do that next time. Or collision boxes, I don't know. All right, thank you for watching. Hey, do.